Hi there, Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces with some cleaning tips for your electric fireplace. If you look in your owner's manual or if you were present for the installation, you'll know that the front glass generally comes off the fireplace during installation. Uh, it travels with the glass in position, it gets to the destination, and then the installer will be taking that glass off oftentimes to put the media in during the installation process and just to access how the screws are put into the wall for the installation. So if the glass can come on and off for installation, it can come on and off for cleaning as well. So something to keep in mind. With that in mind, we can get access to the interior there to clean. Now we're not gonna take the fireplace apart and get into the real guts of the fireplace, but we can definitely get the glass off and deal with cleaning the part that's visible here. So you're gonna use your owner's manual to figure out how the glass is being held in place and therefore how to get the glass off. We're gonna take the front glass and set it safely aside while we clean the interior. We're going to remove the media on the media tray. So whether it's crystals or logs, we're gonna take that out and set that aside. Now we've got an empty fireplace interior and we're gonna use a non-static cleaner, something like this one. Something that's designed for electronics because what that does is it fights the static cling that's attracting the dust to the inside of the fireplace and making it cling to that back panel. And mine I've highlighted with blue lights. When this gets really dirty, we'll have streaks of white back there because the dust has, has come into the showroom and is clinging to that back panel. And if you've noticed that, then it can be cleaned off. So we're going to use our non-static glass cleaner and we're going to clean that back panel thoroughly and make sure there's no streaks on it. And then we're going to clean the media tray and make sure that's nice and clean as well. And then we're going to put our media back in. Before we put the media back in, we can actually clean the media. So these crystals are most often plastic and they can be rinsed off with just regular water and then dried carefully. And that you know, they're attracting dust as well. So the sparkle will come back to your crystals if you rinse off all the dust. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of dish soap or something, rinse them off and then let them dry thoroughly before you put them back into the media tray. If your fireplace has man-made logs in it or man-made stones, don't wash those, but you can take a dry paintbrush and just dust off like you're doing an archeological excavation, just dust off all the nooks and crannies on those man-made logs and so forth so that they're nice and clean as well and there's no little cobwebs and dust webs on them. Put all the media back into position and then you're gonna put your front glass back in. And just be careful that your media isn't blocking the little slot where the glass has to fit back into position and then put your screws black back in place. Before you put that glass back on, of course, you're going to clean the back side of the glass with your non-static cleaner so that everything is clean on the inside. And then once you've got the screws back into place, you can clean the front of the glass. And you can clean the front of the glass every day of the week if you like, and you could use a regular cleaner for that. The reason we use the non-static cleaner inside is because we aren't going to do that very often and we want to delay the, the time that we need to do it again by resisting that static cling. So that's why we use that on the inside. But go ahead and use regular glass cleaner on the outside if you're cleaning it regularly. And last but not least, you can take a vacuum attachment. So the upholstery brush attachment on your vacuum at a very low setting, not the highest setting. And you can run that along that slot where the heat comes out. And just run that along and while the fireplace is off, of course, and just suck up any excess dust and hair from pets and so forth that might be gathering in there that you really can't reach and you can't see, but you need to get that out of there. And you do that on a regular basis. Don't run any of the vacuum attachments over the glass on the inside or the outside. You could scratch the glass with any trapped dust particles or dirt particles in the brush, but you can run it along the metal part there where the uh, heat vent comes out just to gather up any excess dust. So those are the ways that you can deal with cleaning your electric fireplace on your own without a lot of specialized help. We definitely don't want you to take it any further than that and get into the electronics but you can definitely tidy it up and bring the sparkle back to the flames and look to your owner's manual for instructions on how to get that front glass off and how to get to the interior.